why don't you show, try and show me how you can sun flare a, at the start and then go on to day one and then go on to day two. Oh, okay, I get you. Yeah, yeah. brilliant. Well done, guys. Project Maths is all about making maths relevant to real life situations for them and where would they realistically use coordinate geometry in their real life if they're looking to go somewhere or find somewhere on a map or even if one of their parents is driving the car and doesn't know how to get there and they have a map they can think of of that and then to actually um, get them to say where they might have used it they'd already used it in geography for for map reading so again that made another link for them but for me it's made me really think about how I teach everything I look for new ways of introducing everything. I don't just do what I did for years and just go in and do it the same way as I did it every year. I now kind of think about it. I'm, I'm trying to use technology. I'm, because I can use technology and because the school is so technologically advanced, you can put up in a PowerPoint what would take you a week to write on the board. And you can switch from example to example. You're not trying to draw a grid on the board saying coordinate geometry, if you do you flip it up on the board, you put your points in, it takes two minutes. Whereas it would have taken a whole class in the past and then you have to rub it out at the end of class for your next class. So technology has played a huge part in allowing us to diversify and also using examples from the internet and, you know, um, anything that we can use. And hands-on, they have to do hands-on stuff. And I would never have used group work before. Giving them, giving them group work to do and, and allowing them to chat about their answer and compare their answer with the other kids and see, well, your answer is different to mine, so which one is right? Mm -hmm. And even if they chat about it, even if they don't agree, they've discussed why it might or might not be right. Or they can correct each other, or if there's somebody weaker at the table and somebody better, they can learn without always having to ask me, because they might not ask me. For the exam, a lot of kids were learning for the exam and you were teaching them the questions that were on the exam as opposed to teaching them the concept and giving them the tools to handle with, handle whatever came up on the exam. And so the, the, end, the end result is that they have a much better understanding and my teaching is a lot more interesting and dynamic and um, I'm enjoying it a lot more. I really am. It has reinvented me as a teacher. The flower starts off at four centimetres, so I wrote the start in there and at four, and then it grows three centimetres each day. Great. So on day one, it would have gone seven. It would be seven centimetres high. Yeah, that's great. Well done. The biggest change is definitely the engagement of students in their learning, and the activity in the classrooms. Um, that that has been phenomenal, because. Prior to Project Maths, I think, you, you know, from the, the, the talk with the teachers and uh, the, the presentation, um, you realised that Maths was teacher-driven, teacher had all the answers, teacher worked at the board and students practised. Um, and we can't say there wasn't any thinking, but certainly the amount of thinking now going on with the children, it's, it's really exciting. And uh, I can see, uh, and just anecdotally, the the number of um, disruptions or behaviour problems in maths is zero. We don't have any behaviour problems in maths classes. Um, and I put it down to student engagement and student, uh, you know, excitement about their learning. I suppose with our school, because we were a pilot school, there was a lot of work. There was a lot of work for teachers in the beginning and they were trialling and it was all a new approach and there was a lot more work. Previously, a teacher could go to a classroom with their maths book and their solutions and that was it. Now, every lesson had to be thought about, planned, prepared meticulously and we can see huge transference into other subject areas. The science teachers, you know, we have lots, lots of evidence from science and I'm science background myself, um, that the, the skill level of the students um, is much, much, much better now that they can tackle graphs, they can tackle um, ideas of proportionality um, much better with ease in, in science classes now. We had a head start with Project Maths um, and, you know, teachers watched other, other subject teachers watched the maths teachers move their classrooms around, talk about teaching and learning plans, group work. And this year then we started our work on the key skills um, and that's been, that has been really exciting for us as well because um, now everybody's working together. We work in, um, we work in groups with the staff on developing key skills. So yeah, we can see the key skills coming through and we do our own training. So 
so far this year we have worked on two key skills and um, we, first term we took uh, working together. So uh, we worked in subject departments for that and then um, you know developed, tried out different methodologies, came back, fed back, tried again, reported us, modelled the group work in the staff um, development work and um, then for the second key skill we, we chose um, managing myself and for that we decided having looked at the, the the different elements of that key skill we decided to work in mixed groups so we mixed up the staff and that's been fantastic yeah. that's been really good